Sonny Robert reporting live for Rap So Viral and today's video is the baby accused of punching property owners tooth out after owner tried to stop music video shoot report. The baby has been accused of assaulting a rental home owner in California according to report published in Variety on Tuesday. February 23rd, a man named Gary Pager filed a lawsuit against North Carolina rapper on Monday, February 22nd, claiming that the baby punched him in his mouth, knocking out, knocking a tooth out. <laughs> Damn. Back in December, the man says this all took place because he attempted to stop the baby's music video shoot at his rental property because there were too many people violating the terms of the lease. Pager claims that the baby had 40 people at the home when the hip-hop superstar allegedly agreed to the conditions of only having 12 people at the property due to COVID-19 regulations. When Pager attempted to shut down the video shoot, he was reportedly knocked to the ground by an unknown person. He then claimed that the baby got out of his car, chased Pager back out, back into the home, and advised him against calling the police. Pager claims that this is when he was assaulted, left with a bloody mouth and missing tooth. The report goes on to say that someone at the scene did notify the police and the baby and his crew allegedly fled thereafter, allegedly taking Prager's phone and valuable kitchenware. Prager's lawsuit reportedly claims that the baby left without paying the full amount of the bill. He also reportedly left the home with thousands of dollars in damages. Additionally, additionally, the lawsuit alleges that the baby and members of his crew destroyed a security camera that was installed into the home to hide that they weren't adhering to coronavirus restrictions. The lawsuit only claims that when Prager arrived, the lawsuit also claims that when Prager arrived at the home, he saw a baby sitting in the car with YouTube personality Jake Paul, who was supposedly involved with the video shoot. The legal filing allegedly notes that the terms of the property prohibits commercial use, meaning video shoots aren't permitted. Pager concludes that he was allegedly spat on and taunted by the assailants who tossed his phone back and forth. The news of the alleged incidents comes about months after the baby was arrested during a shopping spree on Rodale Drive in Beverly Hills, California after police found a gun in his car. However, prior to that, the baby had been keeping himself on the right side of the law and out of trouble. Well, man, this is a pretty crazy story. You know, uh, some people just can't seem to stay out of trouble, man. And it's kind of like the part of the baby's kind of crazy off the wall brand for him to be getting into this type of, you know, activities. But, you know, some people just like that age. I don't think it's something that you got to try to do. I mean, some people are just wild and off the chain no matter how much money they got, no matter what situation they in. So, man, hopefully, I, wishing the best for him. Hopefully, he can stay out of trouble after this situation. That's today's story. Sonny Bravo, report live for Rap So Viral. I'll let y'all next time. One. If you like what we're doing over here and you want to put a face to the name, go subscribe to the Sonny Bravo YouTube channel where we primarily discuss current events in the dating world from a black male perspective. Until next time, this is Sonny Bravo reporting live. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when more videos are released. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. 100.